Neo Zionism is a right wing, nationalistic, and religious ideology that appeared in Israel following the Six Day War in 1967 and the capture of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. Neo Zionists consider these lands part of Israel and advocate their settlement by Israeli Jews. Some advocate the transfer of Arabs not only from these areas but also from within the Green Line. The term, post Zionism, entered Israeli discourse following the publishing of a book by Uri Ram in 1993. In the same volume, Gershom Shafir contrasted post Zionism with what he termed neo Zionism. In a widely cited 1996 essay, sociologist Uri Ram used the term neo-Zionism to describe a political and religious ideology that developed in Israel following the 1967 Six-Day War. He considers it as an "...exclusionary, nationalist, even racist, and anti-democratic political cultural trend." In Israel that evolved in parallel with, and in opposition to, the left-wing politics of post-Zionism and labor Zionism. Ideology Uri Ram contends that Neo-Zionism is not a new phenomenon, instead arguing that it emerged from the Six-Day War in 1967 and the conquest of Jerusalem. Ram contends that Jerusalem is the symbolic capital of Neo-Zionism, while post-Zionism is orientated around Tel Aviv. It rose with the anxiety following the near loss of the 1973 war, Neo-Zionists consider secular Zionism, particularly the labor version, as too weak on nationalism and that it never understood the impossibility of Arabs and Jews living together in peace. Neo-Zionists claim that the Arab attitude to Israel is inherently rooted in anti-Semitism and that it is a Zionist illusion to think living in peace and together with them is possible. They consider Arabs in Israel to be a fifth column and to pose a demographic threat to the Jewish majority in Israel. From their point of view, the only solution for achieving peace is through deterrence and retaliation, or preferably, transfer by agreement, of the Israeli Arabs and the Palestinian population of the occupied Palestinian territories to neighboring Arab states. Uri Ram characterizes both neo Zionism and post Zionism as reactions to the post nationalist environment. For neo Zionism, the weakness of Israeli nationalism derives from his alienation of Jewish sources and culture. Only a new national religious and orthodox coalition could cure Zionism of this moral bankruptcy. Neo Zionists consider all areas under Israeli military control to be part of the biblical land of Israel. Neo Zionists assert that the goal of Jewish statehood is not only about creating a safe refuge for Jews but also about the national historic destiny of the people of Israel in the land of Israel. For Uri Ram, Neo Zionism is a reinterpretation of Zionism that is religious rather than secular. Judaism, instead of being a peripheral cultural tradition, is a core element in his definition. In Ram's formulation, post Zionism is globalist and liberal, while neo Zionism is local and ethno religious. Asima Ghazi Bulyan challenges Ram's classification of neo Zionism as anti globalist. He instead sees some strains of neo Zionism as globalist, similar to neo conservatism and neo nationalism. Whereas post Zionism was a largely unsuccessful direct challenge to Zionism, neo Zionism is instead a challenge to labor Zionism. Asima Ghazi Bulyan argues that Neo-Zionism is not entirely an ethno-religious movement but also incorporates a national security discourse. Elon Pape sees four currents which have contributed to Neo-Zionism's rise, the conversion of the Herdom to Zionism, the settler movement combined with the state funding of yeshivas, the culturally insular and economically deprived Mizrahi community, and finally the integration of Israel into the global capitalist system. Topic. Representation Neo-Zionism ideology was promoted by the band Kach and Kahane Chai or the Jewish Defense League. Uri Ram uses the Movement for Greater Israel and the Gush Emunim Settler Movement founded in 1974 as examples of Neo-Zionism and its precursors, Gush Emunim being a hybrid of religion and nationalism. Ram also labels parts of Likud and the National Religious Party, as well as other, smaller, splinter parties including Yisrael Balia, Moladet, Tahia, and T. Zomet as neo Zionist. In the media, neo Zionism is associated with Eretz Shiva. According to Yishai Fleischer, Eretz Shiva director of programming and founder of the Kuma neo Zionist lobby. 
Zionism is the yearning of the Jewish people to come back to the land of Israel with the creation of the Jewish Commonwealth and the era of the Third Temple. It's a renewal of lost values, and an answer to post-Zionism. If post-Zionism is the theory that Israel was created and the project is now finished, then Neo-Zionism states that we are far from done with the project. The Jewish people are not yet back home, and we have yet to educate Jews to the concept of living a Torah life in the land of Israel." Some associations in Israel, such as Im Tertsu, defend neo-Zionist ideology. Ronan Shovel, founder of the association states that, "...we need every Jewish heart and Zionist soul. Coordinators and activists of Im Tertsu are hereby called to the flag." W.E. will turn the Hebrew University into a Zionist society, and continue the Second Zionist Revolution." His aims are, "...to restore Zionism to the center, for poets to poetize Zionism, for the writers to write Zionism, for academia to support Zionism and for the Ari Fulmans to make films about our ethos. Just as there are movies about gladiators, we will have movies about Judah Maccabee." What's wrong with that? Topic: <inaudible> Critics. According to Uri Ram, neo-Zionism is an exclusionary, nationalist, even racist, and anti-democratic political cultural trend, striving to heighten the fence encasing Israeli identity. A point of view also reported by Gilbert H. Carr, according to Dana Isle. Her country is hijacked by a group of racist religious Jews, who are much more of a threat to Israel than any Arab or Muslim country, including Iran." She gives the example of children of illegal immigrants born and living in Israel for years and that neo-Zionist groups want to see expelled because their presence is un-Zionistic. She thinks that T his very narrow definition of Zionism dictates that Israel is and will remain a racist Jewish state. But also that in Israel itself there is a lazy majority that is far from this. Zionism for us equals patriotism much like it does to Americans, wanting the best for your country, believing in its principles and defending it when necessary. Only we don't believe in many of the neo-Orthodox principles popping out like mushrooms in the rain. For that matter, we no longer feel very Zionistic in an environment that embraces totality and purity of race a calamitous similarity to things that should not be named." Post-Zionists have argued that Israel must choose between a post-Zionist future and a neo-Zionist future. Today, Israeli opinion has come to view both «post-Zionism» and «neo-Zionism» as pejorative slogans. Topic. See also New antisemitism Political ideology Self-hating Jew Topic. References Topic. Further reading Topic. Journalistic views about neo-Zionism Gershon Baskin, Neo-Zionism, Religion, and Citizenship. Foreign Policy in Focus, September 26, 2007. Kobe Ben Simhan, June 5, 2009. Neo-Zionism 101. Haritz. David Breakstone, Zionism isn't what it used to be. The Jerusalem Post, June 21, 2009. Dana Agman, Neo-Zionism, Israel's True Threat. The Huffington Post, October 12, 2010. Topic: Neo-Zionist authors. In English, Eliezer Don Yahia, Memory and Political Culture, Israeli Society and the Holocaust. Studies in Contemporary Jury 9, 1993. In Hebrew, Eaton Dor Shav, Israel Museum and the Loss of National Memory, Calais, 1998. In Hebrew, Avraham Levitt, Israeli art on the way to somewhere else. Kalei 3, 1998. In Hebrew, Hillel Weiss, defamation, Israeli literature of elimination. Beit El, 1992.
Topic: <laughs> Neo-Zionist lobbies. Kuma. I'm Tertsu.